Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard Moglin. Welcome to this week's watchlist video sponsored by MarketSmith. As always, we'll go through both the fundamentals and technicals of all the stocks in my focus list, and let's dive right in, starting with CRISPR. Um, so if we uh, look at the chart, you can see that overall it hasn't been profitable the past few quarters, but there are signs in the past of substantial growth. If we go to the weekly chart very quickly, you can see some big growth numbers a few quarters ago. Um, overall, looking at the annual EPS estimates, you can see it's not supposed to be profitable in 2020 or 2021, which is one knock against it for me. Overall, the EPS rating is very poor at 10. The group RS is very strong at A minus. SMR rating is a B. Accumulation distribution is an A. And the overall comps rating is a 78. And looking at the fund ownership numbers, you can see a nice increase over the past few years. And you have four high quality funds in there, which is a good sign. And if we take a look at the chart, you can see it's been on a tear very recently, forming a potential high tight flag here after it emerged from a stage one cup. Um, so as for the specific technical setup, if we go to the chart into 2000, I'm looking for either a breakout of this inside day that it had on Friday or a break of this downward trend line on above average volume. And as for the stop loss, you could put it at the bottom of yesterday's uh, low or below this level at um, 144.19. Next up, we've got another gene editing company in edit. And overall, you can see great numbers this past quarter, earnings up 130%, sales up 999%, and after-tax margins up 20.4%. But like CRISPR, it's not supposed to be profitable in 2020 or in 2021. The EPS rating is a 66, the group RS is an A-, the SMR rating is a D, a Q mission distribution is an A, and the overall comms rating is a very strong 97. And looking at the fund ownership, you can see a nice gradual increase over the past two years. And you do have one high quality fund invested into this company. And if we look at the chart, you can see that it just emerged from a stage one consolidation with a standard pivot of 39.96, and now it's at 64.41. So once again, this is a huge and powerful move and it's forming a potential high tight flag. Um, going over to the chart in T2000, um, what I'm looking for is either a breakout above the um, inside day on Friday, so a breakout above this high at 65.25, or a breakout above the all-time highs at 67.68. Um, and overall, this is a dramatic move in just a few days. It's about 115%, and it's only given back so far about 15% or so. So this is very tight considering this huge move, but this stock could fully uh, be within its rights to uh, base out a few more days. And actually, one more thing about CRISPR before I forget, this is actually a three weeks tight pattern on the weekly, which is a good sign. Um, and edit, you can see, needs a little bit more time uh, before it form that pattern. As for the stop loss, you could set it at the low of this right here if you buy this breakout, and you want to see big volume buzz coming in if you enter based off this setup. And one more thing about this setup, this is a biotech, so there's some added risk here. Um, so if you want to uh, play the space but don't want to buy individual companies, you could invest in ArcG here, uh, which owns a lot of these same names, CRISPR, Edit. Um, so this could be one option for you. Next on the list, we've got Frog. And overall, you can see decent revenue growth the past few quarters, although it's not always profitable. And if you look at the annual EPS estimates, you can see it's actually going to decrease in 2021 down 62%, although revisions are up. And overall, the EPS rating is a 21, the group RS is a B, SM rating is a C, accumulation distribution is a C plus, and the overall comms rating is a very poor 24. Uh, looking at the fund ownership, you can see already 161 funds own this stock, and you have a whole bunch of high quality funds, which um, draws my interest. And looking at the chart, you can see that it undercut this low here recently, moved up on nice volume, and now has consolidated a little bit more, um, and now is moving up on higher volume. Um, so as for the entry setup, what I want to see is a breakout above this level here at 69.76, which also coincides pretty much with the 50 SMA. But overall, I like the volume coming in here, and it looks like it could be starting to form the right side of this longer primary base. Moving on, we've got Futu, and overall looking at the earnings and sales, you can see blowout numbers the past few quarters. Last quarter, earnings up 999%, sales up 276%, and after-tax margins up 43.1%. And looking at the annual EPS assessments, you can see in 2020, it's supposed to be up 559% and a further 44% in 2021. Uh, EPS rating is an 84, Group RS is a C, SMR rating is an A, accumulation distribution A+, 
and the overall composite rating a 99. Uh, looking at the fund ownership, there's not much to see here. Uh, very low numbers. You don't have any high quality funds invested into this stock. And looking at the chart, you can see it just emerged from the stage two cup um, and now has pulled back to the pivot and is holding this level right here at about 40.99. Uh, so as for the entry setup, what I want to see is a break of this downward trend line or potentially a constructive pullback to 21 EMA or this 40.99 level. Um, so that is FUTU and next on the list, we've got LSPD. And overall, looking at the earnings and sales, you can see it's got very decent revenue growth the past few quarters, although it's not yet profitable. And looking at the estimates, it's not supposed to be profitable in 2021 or in 2022. The BS rating is only a 2, the group RS is a B minus, the SMR rating is a D, accumulation distribution is an A plus, and the overall comps rating is a 63. And look at the fund ownership, you can see a dramatic increase over the past few years, but you do not have any high quality funds invested into the stock. Looking at the chart, you can see it's potentially a high tight flag once again, with a strong move through this 39.91 pivot with the RS line um, increasing and then pulling back along with the stock's price. Uh, so as for the entry setup, what I want to see is a breakout above this level at 60.67 on above average volume. And on this Friday, you can see it actually was down on high volume, but you do have a decent close here at a 47.4% daily closing range. Um, so I would expect this to follow through. Um, but once again, a stop loss could be set at this close here if you enter on this breakout. Um, so that is LSPD. And next up, we've got MRVI. And overall, this is a recent IPO with great earnings and sales the past few quarters. And looking at the annual EPS estimates, you can see in 2021, it's supposed to increase 69%. The EPS rating is a 75. The group RS is a B. SMR rating is a C. Accumulation distribution not available. And the overall comms rating is a poor 52. Uh, there's no fund ownership numbers just yet. Um, and looking at the chart, you can see it's within its IPO base, stage one IPO base with a standard pivot of 32.46. And as for the entry setup, what I wanna see is a breakout above this high at 30.26, with a stop loss potentially below this low right here, about 29.10. Um, so that is MRVI, and next on the list, we've got PLTR. And overall, nice revenue growth the past few quarters, and good EPS estimates for 2021, up 71% with the revisions up as well. EPS rating is a 12, group RS is a B, SMR rating is a D, accumulation distribution is an A+, and the overall comms rating is a 65. And look at the fund ownership, you can see that 74 funds own this at this time, but no high quality funds just yet. And overall, this stock has really exploded from its IPO base. Um, it's now potentially forming a VCP pattern with the R sign um, basing along with the price. Uh, so as for the entry setup, you can see I've drawn in the VCP here, 35%, 19%, and then 11%. And now potentially it's forming one last contraction. Um, and right now it's at 6%. Um, so what I'm looking for is a breakout above this high at 27.45. And you could use this close as your stop loss or this low. And that would be about a 6% stop, which is pretty decent, especially if you're using a half position because this is an IPO. Uh, so that is PLTR. And next up we've got RXT. And overall, decent revenue growth and earnings growth the past few quarters. Last quarter, earnings up 50%, sales up 13%, and after tax margins up 5.3%. And overall, good estimates for 2020 and 2021. You can see up 167% this year and 45% next year. EPS rating is a 73. The group RS is a B. SM rating is a C. Accumulation distribution is a B plus, And the overall comms rating is a 75. Looking at the fund ownership, you can see 141 funds own this stock but no high quality funds just yet. And looking at the chart, you can see it's within this large primary base, this stage one cup with handle with a standard pivot of 2115. And as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout above that pivot on above average volume, potentially using uh, these lows right here as your stop loss. And that would be about six, 7%. Moving on, we've got Shockwave Medical and overall you can see last quarter sales up 73%. And there is a history of large growth in terms of sales. But looking at the annual EPS estimates, you can see it's not supposed to be profitable in 2020 or in 2021. The EPS rating is a 23. The group RS is a B plus. The SM rating is a D. A commission distribution is an A plus, And the overall comms rating is a 78. And as for the fund ownership, you can see a nice increase over the past few years. You do have one high quality fund invested into this company. 
And looking at a chart, you can see it's moved up in a nice uptrend this year and now is basing um, right near the 100 level. And what I'm looking for is a breakout above this pivot on above average volume with the R sign confirming as well. Uh, so looking at the chart here, I've drawn in the same trend line above the high of 101. Um, and overall, I like the volume coming in on this uptrend, nice blue bars here, and also a nice upside reversal on Friday. Um, so that is SWAV and moving on, we've got Uber. And overall, you can see not the greatest growth numbers down here. Um, and you can see it's not supposed to be profitable within the next two years in 2020 or 2021. The EPS rating is a 46, Group RS is an A+, SMR rating is an E, Accumulation Distribution is an A+, and the overall comps rating is an 85. And look at the fund ownership, you can see a nice increase over the past two years, and you have two high quality funds invested into Uber. Um, and looking at the chart, you can see it emerged from the stage one cup of handle here, had nice move up through its prior all time high, and now is pulling back to the 50 level and 21 EMA. Uh, so what I'm looking for is either a bounce off this moving average, or potentially if it breaks this low, uh, a pullback to 4708, which is the prior um, all time high that set all the way back in June of last year. Uh, so that is Uber. And last on the list, we've got ZI, Zoom Infotech. And overall, nice growth numbers the past few quarters. Last quarter, earnings up 120%, sales up 56%, and after tax margins up 34.7%. And looking at the annual EPS assessments, you can see in 2020, it's supposed to be up 256%, and in 2021, a further 47%, with the revisions up as well. The EPS rating is a 75, the group RS is a B, SMR rating is a not available, a commission distribution is a C, and the overall comms rating is a 52. Uh, looking at the fund ownership, you can see that 181 funds own this at this time, and you have three high quality funds in there as well. And as for the chart, you can see it's forming its long term kind of primary base here, um, and it's potentially pulling back to the 50 SMA after breaking through it on this Thursday. Uh, so, as for the entry setup, what I want to see is either a breakout above this high at 43.57 on above average volume, or potentially a pullback to these lows right here and then a bounce and reversal. So that's my plan for ZI, and this is one of my top three setups, along with SWAV and also PLTR. Um, let me know down below in the comment section what are your top three setups for this week, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something useful from it. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in future videos.